Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting's beginner series. Uh, this series in particular is going to be focused on Zoho Learn, uh, which is Zoho's learning management system or LMS. Um, before I get started, I just want to thank everyone for taking the time to check out this video and supporting our channel. Um, if you do find this video useful, uh, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button below um, so that you can be in the loop as we put out additional guides like this one. Um, so over the next few videos, we're going to cover all the essentials of Zoho Learn that you'll need to get started. Um, particularly, this first video is going to cover kind of the initial setup, uh, which will involve creating your first space, as well as getting your manuals created and organized. Uh, so with that, let's jump right in. All righty. And so as we get started, there's one thing I do want to highlight that's a little bit uh, tricky with Zoho Learn is these, these little tabs up at the top are not quite in an order that, uh, that you actually wanna go in. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you uh, activate Zoho Learn is you wanna come into this spaces tab and create your first space. Um, so a space inside of uh, Zoho Learn is basically a place to organize a set of manuals and articles and guides. And so you might have a variety of different spaces that are shared to different users based on what they need to see in particular. So let's say I wanted to have a space where I was gonna document um, some information about Zanata's web services. Um, so these are things that aren't directly related to Zoho. And so maybe our Zoho team doesn't really need access to this information on a regular basis. Um, so maybe I wanna create a space called something like web services. We can give it a description. This space contains information about, let's say, web development, SEO management, and pay-per-click optimization. And so these spaces, they don't have to be super, super specific. You can kind of decide um, what level of specificity you need for a particular space. Um, the main thing, though, that they do is allow us to show only, uh, only show this information to who it actually applies to. So maybe I would go ahead and add a couple people here that are on our web services team um, so that they can help build out this relevant content uh, for those products. And so now I'll go ahead and create this space. And so now we'll notice that it's kind of dropped me into that space. Um, if you hadn't created it yet, or if you're opening it up fresh, we'll see if we navigate to spaces, it'll be under my spaces. Um, these are just ones that you've created yourself. Uh, if you have spaces that other people have created, like we already have one called the Zen space in here, those will show up under all spaces. Um, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and open up our primary web services space here. Um, up in the top right, we can manage this space. So if you find, oh, you know what, actually there's one more person that might need to be added to this, I can go ahead and grab them from the list of users that are in Zoho Learn. Maybe I wanna add that additional user. You know, you can update the URL, the name, the description here as well. Um, we'll jump into templates in a future video, uh, but these are very useful. They're basically a way to template out what an article might look like. Um, of course, you can delete that space, and then you can set some particular policies to see if you want anyone in the space to be able to create content, only people that are admin or only specific users uh, within this space. And so now that we have our initial users here added to our space, uh, we're going to want to go ahead and create our manuals um, and get things organized in here. Uh, so the two different things in the space are those manuals and articles. And basically, a manual is a way to organize a large set of articles into, you know, a document that people can use. Um, I advise kind of thinking through all the different manuals you need first so that you can properly organize the content, make sure you don't have duplicated topics between different manuals. So in this case, maybe we'd want a manual for web development, a manual for SEO management, and a manual for PPC optimization. So I'm gonna go ahead and create our first manual here. So we'll give that a name, then we'll give it a description. We'll 
We'll say that this contains our guide for some best practices. And then here you can choose if you want this to be a private manual or host it within your space. So in this case, we're gonna want this inside of our space. And so now that we've got that first web development manual created, I'm gonna go ahead and create the manuals here for SEO management and PPC optimization. Um, and so we'll take a quick little break here and I will be right back when those manuals are created. And so now that we have our three manuals created here inside of our web service space for each of those kind of broad stroke topics that we're gonna to want to uh, capture, um, you know, we're ready to actually go ahead and start creating our content. But before we do, I'll just show a couple different things you can do here in terms of organizing and sorting these manuals. Um, this might seem like it isn't necessary here when I only have three, um, but if you have a larger space where you're going to store a lot of different manuals, this becomes a little bit more important. Um, so as we're in this space here, we can go ahead and look at things as a list view or as a grid view. Um, it's going to show us how many articles are within each of these particular manuals. Um, here you can do things like favorite a particular manual, you can bookmark it, you can follow it so that if it was to get an update, maybe you get notified and you can move it if you're an admin and you wanted to move it to a different space. Um, here as well, we can go ahead and sort them based on recent activity, um, based on an alphabetical sort, um, as well as if we'd like to, we can go ahead and manually reorder them as well. To kind of see things in a custom order. Um, so with that, we've gone ahead and set up our first space as well as the manuals within it. Uh, in our next video, we're going to walk through actually creating the articles and the templates for articles that are going to go ahead and feed into these manuals. Um, but thank you everyone for watching. We hope you found this content useful. Um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. We try to get to uh, answering those either directly or we'll answer them in our weekly podcast, the CRM Zen Show, and give you a link to check it out there. Uh, if you did find this video useful, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. That really helps us out, and it'll make sure that you see our next video. Thanks for watching.